Hey everyone, and welcome to the PvP Beginner's Guide to Hammer Catalyst. This build is the best side noter in the current meta. Learn it, and you'll become a living storm with high area of effect damage and permanent immunity to crowd control. In this video, we're going to look at the playstyle before diving into damage combos and defensive rotations so that you can carry your teams to victory. Hammer Catalyst is primarily a side noter, but it has a strong team fight as well. The build has 100% uptime on the stability boon when played properly, so you'll be able to negate incoming crowd control effects while shredding enemies around you with a variety of passive skills and attacks. With the additional survivability from Earth Shield and Fortified Earth, Hammer Catalysts can easily survive against multiple opponents, which is very beneficial in PvP. There are three main aspects you'll need to know in order to play this spec well. First, every time you use a combo finisher in a combo field, you will gain an aura. Every time you gain an aura, you will cleanse a condition and gain one stack of stability, which will negate one instance of crowd control on your character. Each attunement has a combo finisher, which are best used in conjunction with your combo fields from your Jade Sphere class mechanic. Rotating through these and spacing them out is going to be crucial for surviving against condition damage and maintaining your uptime on CC immunity. There are other ways to get auras as well, such as attuning to fire, picking up your earth shield, using earth shield 3, dodging into a combo field in earth attunement, and using earth 4. Second, Hammer Catalyst is also immune to projectiles. By cycling through your many sources of magnetic aura, you leave no openings for your enemies to shoot you. Keep in mind that unblockable projectiles will still pierce through the reflex. Third, energy is required to use your spheres. Energy is gained primarily through striking foes. While a jade sphere is active, you cannot gain energy through any means except for attunement swapping with the adept trait energized elements. Your hammer threes in each attunement are a great source of energy generation and should be used as often as possible to maintain their passive buffs. Before we get into damage combos, let's talk about when and how to use each Jade Sphere. Afterwards, I'll give you a simple attunement rotation that is good to cycle through. Each Sphere costs 10 energy to place, and you can store a maximum of 30 energy. They last for 5 seconds and provide boons to all allies including yourself while standing in their radii. Earth Sphere provides the strongest boons, followed by water, air, and fire in that order. When conserving energy to survive, prioritize Earth and Water Spheres for damage mitigation and resustain. Otherwise, air and fire spheres are great for increasing your and your teammates damage. For the basic attunement rotation, earth, air, fire, and water is strong as a general rotation. Earth provides mitigation, air sets up damage and fire, fire is your burst, and water is your resustain. Now let's dive into some basic damage combos for Hammer Catalyst. Earth 5 into air 5 or 4, air 2, fire 4 and or fire 5 and or fire 2 into water 5. Auto attacking with your Hammer 3's active is a great source of sustain damage, especially when paired with the quickness from your air sphere. Earth Shield 3, Earth Shield 4, Air Sphere, and spam Earth Shield basic attacks. Fire damage rotation, elemental celerity, which resets the cooldowns in your current attunement skills, and then another fire damage rotation. For grand finale, summon as many hammer threes as you can, with fire being the last attunement swap, cast fire sphere, and grand finale for maximum damage. For your defensive rotations, earth sphere and dodge roll or use any other combo finisher, earth sphere into fortified earth which reduces the cooldown of your utility skill by 33%, Earth Shield 2, 3, and 5, for resustain, Water Sphere into Water 4, and any Leap or Blast finisher. Also, spam basic attacks in combat to proc the passive heal from Signet of Restoration. For the final tip, Hammer Catalyst only has one stun break from Signet of Air. If you use it, make sure to play defensively, or you can be locked down by crowd control and killed, especially when fighting multiple opponents or in larger teamfights. And that's it for this video. I hope you learned something from the beginner's guide to Hammer Catalyst. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. If you want to see more from my channel, click the links here, and I'll see you in the next one.